Expose the scaphalunate joint with a standard dorsal approach. Harvest a 2 mm slip of the extensor carpi radialis brevis, ECRB tendon at its insertion on the base of the third metacarpal. Whip stitch the end of the graft with a 2O fiber loop suture. To aid in reducing the scaphalunate joint, place two guide wires to act as joysticks. Restore the joint to normal anatomic position. Place three guide wires, one centrally into the lunate, another into the proximal pole of the scaphoid, and a final guide wire into the distal pole of the scaphoid. Drill over all three guide wires using the cannulated drill bit and drill guide. Place the very end of the ECRB graft on the forked eyelet. A suture tape suture is placed over the graft, and both the fiber loop and suture tape are secured into the notch on the swivel lock tab. Insert the swivel lock with the graft suture construct into the proximal pole of the scaphoid until the leading end of the anchor body is flush to the bone. Hold the tab steady while turning the knob clockwise until the anchor body is fully seated in bone. The second swivel lock SL captures the graft and one limb of the suture tape suture. The anchor and graft construct are inserted into the lunate. The graft and suture tape are twisted together to facilitate insertion into the distal pole. The final swivel lock is inserted into the distal pole of the scaphoid. The remaining graft and suture tape are cut flush. An anti-rotational guide wire is placed from scaphoid to capitate and capped in for six to eight weeks.